Welcome back to the Ghost K. I am Gray, and today we are gonna do some more football manager. Yeah. So, um, this is most likely where the buck stops right here. I am gonna change the formation up for a match, just to just to dick around with them, uh, just to kind of throw a curveball, see if that helps. I highly doubt it'll fucking do anything. In all honesty, so um, that's really. Pretty much it. Um, okay, yeah, I was just wondering. Didn't think so, just wondering. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Um, uh, let's see, what else is there to talk about? Um, shit, I had a bunch of shit to say, but I can't remember what any of it is anymore. Oh, um, I did try recording Fear, but quite honestly, it did one more fucking thing and like it was all fuck it up with uh with shit so I, uh, I i may i may just scrap that whole lp and just do other shit um yeah um i am thinking about uh starting up rome um yeah that's probably what will end up happening so I'll just go and start Rome up and start playing that. Um, so, yeah. Um, and that's, like I said, that's just because it can't get the damn thing going, so to hell with it. You know. Um, but, you know, like I said, it is what it is. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, uh, more, not real news, but at least thoughts related to this specifically. I'm like, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of, I'm kind of finding it tough to get up for this, for this LP. Um, mostly just this squad. Jesus Christ, just fucking come on now. Um, mostly it's just this squad. I think, I think what it is is like a. For me personally, like the the thing I get the most enjoyment out of is, is, you know the um, the ooh, the improvement and the the. The, um, the development of talent is that sort of the shit that I really find a lot of fun um, and honestly since right now we have the reputation but not the monetary um, you know ability to go out and get players right now um, you know at least players that have a future that have potential and shit like that you know I kind of find it stale and difficult to, to play this and um you know, I mean, one of the reasons why I skip days and shit like that and don't update anything is because I don't have, I don't have anything to update. And the reason why I don't have anything to update is because when I got on to play this and update this and, you know, record this and all that shit, I decided to play something, play my other save file and, you know, it's really what it is. So, yeah. But anyhow, um, truth of the matter is, I mean, like I said, that's that and, and if 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 we had uh if i had subs subscribers and people that watch this um uh lp specifically um i would honestly ask you if you wanted me to kind of just you know not really be a mercenary manager but kind of you know look for other jobs in the game um, when the time came shit like that um I, like I said, I'm not sure if I want to just start another one. Oh, that was a hell of a shot right there. If I wanted to start another one, or if I just want to say to hell with it and just stick it out, you know, let's start another, another, start a, start playing as another team. Um, blah, blah, blah. Let me start over, because like, I'm getting all fucking out of sorts here. I, I'm not sure if I want to, you know, find another job within the game and, and, plays a different or plays a different manage a different team um that's certainly a possibility it's one of the great things about this game is i can just kind of jump ship and you know and i know a lot of people do that they kind of you know they'll play this game and we ourselves as a manager have our own reputation so you know i mean playing here at aclu isn't terrible you know i mean it, it builds towards something for us at least um and like i said i'm kind of I'm kind of torn between wanting to do that because I've never done that. I usually just pick a club and stay with a club. I have done that a few times. And I, ha and I did find it kind of rewarding. One of my managers was kind of like a journeyman manager. And, you know, this was back in 
FM12, and I did have a couple memorable seasons, you know, playing with, you know, not really mercenary clubs, but playing with other clubs, you know, and, and you know, for a short period of time, and having some fun and some success there. So anyway, like I said, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of thinking about doing that. If I had subs, I'd ask you if you wanted me to just stick it through here and, you know, just develop this club, or, you know, look look for somewhere else, you know, look, use this as a stepping stone and find someone else, somewhere else to, to, to grab at, um, you know, I'll grab at to to go after and shit like that, but you know, like I said, it's you know, it, it, that's something that I'm sure I'm gonna really mull over and think on for a long, long time for a few months before I really come to an actual decision. I'm not just gonna up and drop this club in mid season. I will at least oh my lord. Wonderful close control there. I will stick this through and hang on to this at least through, till the end of a season. I'm not just going to up and bail in the middle of the season. Unless, like, a job comes around since we do play in the summer. Unless a job comes around and I decide to do that and take a job somewhere else. And there are a number of places where I would love to manage. Um, in fact, I actually was thinking about when I first started this LP, um, I had originally decided on a Danish club. Um, but, you know, uh, you know, and then all of a sudden, spur of the moment, I kind of said, ah, fuck it, Finland, for whatever reason, and, um, yeah, that's where we are now. Um, however, I do, you know, I had a lot of fun when I managed a German club. I mean, I spent a lot of time living in Germany myself, and there's, there's something, something about that place, you know, I've wanted to have another German manager for some time, and like I said, maybe we'll just kind of feel it out and if the right job comes along at a club that's you know is one that I really want to manage maybe I'll just up and take that and then go from there but um we'll see like I said I mean we'll we'll see I'd like to I'd like to kind of look around and, and quite honestly and it's weird like I want I need a change I think that's what it is it's like I've managed so many clubs and in my main Galway United file I manage a club that plays on the summer schedule and I think I want to get back to the schedule that the rest of the world plays on basically is the winter schedule and and you know like I said I mean I had had some very memorable times managing um Kaiser Slaughter in in Germany and you know and I keep seeing that club actually specifically uh start sliding down the ranks of German football right now um not in the real world but in, in this game you know and uh you know it kind of kind of calls out to me sometimes like can you start a manager and manage this fucker but you know like I said it's it's very difficult and I have done it I have managed a club on each on each schedule simultaneously meaning yeah it, it it's nice to have like an actual off season within the game so you know, there's, there's that, but, um, there is also the possibility of, I have toyed with this idea, but I'm not sure if I'm going to ever do it, I have toyed with the idea of maybe, potentially, possibly, oh, fuck, that's a goal, oh, my lord, how in the hell did myself stop that, see, is that rebound right there, like, like, how, how the play comes back, this way so fast when defenses kind of get stretched because you know they're trying to close down the ball and then one guy goes out there and the other guy goes out there and then next thing you know everyone's being pulled away and oh my and all those FC Lati players are just sitting there on the doorstep to fucking power something home but anyway Oof. anyhow um like I was saying I mean it's it's um I don't know. There, there's just some decisions to be made. Like I said, if if you if you happen to run across this video and you do have an opinion on as to whether or not we should just stay here or you know or um, you know uh, move on to another club, go ahead and let me know. I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get pissed, and then I'm, I'm okay with that. I was gonna say he's got to be fucking offsides, man. <laughs> I mean, good God, you know. But like I said, I mean, it's there's a lot there's a lot here to be. You know, there's there's a lot here to be to be positive about. You know, because like I said we we went pro so fast. You know, and that's that's a big step. 
you know, that's that's a huge step. Being a professional club, you know, is, is a big step in managing, you know, what we've already managed and it, it it'd be it'd be a big step back or two to go and, and start again on a semi pro club, even if in a different country. Um, and it would really be just, you know, having wasted two seasons of this, although, you know, like I said, our manager rep would go up, but it wouldn't really be, um, you know, it really wouldn't, uh, really wouldn't, really wouldn't, I don't know, like it really wouldn't, uh, really wouldn't get us as far as we need to be. And they're really taking it to us here since we scored that goal. I'm kind of not liking this. Kind of, kind of have a feeling we're gonna surrender a goal here if not right up here. I'm gonna say that's out of. I have a feeling we're gonna have to surrender a goal here before uh, before too long here in the second half, considering Monsalves had to be the um, the hero so far. Hmm. We'll just go with that. Eh, not the best response, but here's the hoping, right? Um, if we're lucky, if we're lucky, we'll get uh, we'll get something out of this. But um, I just don't, just don't think we will. I mean, I'm really hoping that what we saw was the uh, what we saw that little that little fight back there in the first half. That was that was all they had in the in the arsenal, so to speak. But. Anyhow, on a lighter note, less serious and boo hoo hooey, I, I did revisit FM15 recently, and my lord, some of the animations are just all over the fucking place. Like that right there where he receives the ball, where Gronholm kind of, they, they do like some little neat little, you know, way they position their foot and cushion the ball and all that shit. And, you know, yeah, it doesn't look bad, and, but it's just like the way they do it and slide along the floor at the same time, because the way it's just... Like, first of all, their first touch is shit, so, like, they, they oh, ho, 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 yalla, this is just all you, please sink this. God damn it. I was hoping for too much, wasn't I? No, oh, oh, could we maybe get them? Ah, uh, eh, thank you for the corner. Of course, watch them, like, counterattack off this corner and score. <laughs> oh, the irony, right? Uh... Ooh, he, he made a good run there. He was wide open. If it would have been just a short flick on, that would have been nice. But anyhow, we're right, looking at Ose went into the fucking went into the referee's book. How much you want to bet? Twenty bucks. He's gonna get sent off. Twenty dollar. Twenty dollar. But um, oh jeez. Oh, I thought that was gonna be a turnover right there. Ugh. Hmm. Just mm -mm -mm. all right. I'm wondering if we should take passing in the space off since we are returning possession. Probably work better if we uh, retain possession and pass it shorter, but that's okay. Yeah, I should do. Should do something here, shouldn't I? Should I just not tinker with it? Cause they're just getting too much, too much. But anyhow, you know what? I don't know. I mean, I really have no substitutions here for Jose, and this may be our best bet. You know what? I may just hang, try and hang on till about 70 minutes left, if we can, and then uh, switch up the formation back to that other one we've been using. And just let that let that be that, and um, hmm. especially if the you know, if the game you know just gets uh, if they if the game gets a little stretched. And I did I am uh, yeah, I should say I have been trying to tinker with this formation specifically, R four one two three zero. Um, I have been doing a little research and doing a little reading on um, how to kind of um tighten this formation up, make it a little more defensively viable, um, and shit like that. So that that will obviously be something that we'll we'll look to later. But um Yeah. I was really hoping he like completely missed there and get sent off. 
Of course, you know, I have not been having very good luck with that lately. Like, players get sent off, and then, like, the team will just start playing, like, fucking, you know, monsters. It's like, holy shit. Oh. Oh. Oh, what I would give for a fucking penalty right now. Hmm. Yeah, oh Jesus. Yeah. Ooh. Doesn't say how in the hell. He's a little, seemingly way the fuck offside. But see, that kind of thing right there is what ideally what we want them to do. We want them to kind of chuck it over us. Although this formation is more front loaded than anything and it kind of um, kind of doesn't force teams to do that too much. Oh. Um, Oh god. I hate when that happens. I hate those little scuffed shots like that. How, um, um, speaking of uh, Football Manager 15, um, like the little animations and shit like that was one of the things that people weren't very happy with. Oh my god. A lot, there were a lot of, um, a lot of things like that happening. They would get the ball and, like, they'd be. And have nobody near him for 20 yards and then do some stupid animation and then just run right into a defender and turn the ball over. So, there is that. Uh, this is going to be a goal, is it? Oh. I'm going to say, right as, I, right as I decide to fucking dick with things. But anyhow, I think we're going to go ahead and ooh, we can, you know what? Probably shouldn't. Probably shouldn't do this. But we're going to anyway and we are going to take Ose off. Because I have a feeling that card is going to come back to haunt us. I have a feeling we'll probably won't even be able to like make this substitution and shit. Or are you going to give it to us? Are you going to be nice? Uh, it's going to be nice. It's going to be nice, kids. Should give it a nice little slow golf clap. For them, for them being not douchebags. Oh, Jesus. So I do like this formation too. I mean, it, it feels more stable. I mean, yeah, it seems to lack a little bit of a ingenuity sometimes when you play these bigger clubs because it relies a little bit on some of the individual play, but oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, does somebody shoot the fucking ball? Just, just shoot it. There was, you know, like nobody there. They were just like hanging out. Oh my. Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, fucking shit. I'm all just pinging around everybody right now. Rar says Ramasaho. And then Zabakman. You can tell I kind of ran out of shit to say. Ran, ran out of shit to talk about. This is a long match, though, by the way. I mean, we're getting in a lot of, a lot of FaceTime here, kids. Ooh, good pass. Oh! Oh, a 2 nil lead, bitches. 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 That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. We're, we, 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 since, we did, since we did change this, we've gotten a lot more possession. I don't know if you noticed that. That has... That has made things a little interesting. It's just a little interesting. I think that was some, some of my tinkering with the instructions and shit, quite honestly. As to why we were, uh, giving away so much of the possession. Let's stop hassling opponents. Although I think it's kind of stupid that, like, in this game, closing... Well, basically what hassle opponents is close down more. Um, they changed it in FM15. It's, you know, like I said, it's, like, close down more, close down way more, shit like that. Um, it, it's kind of frustrating that like closing down the opponents leads to cards. Like I understand the tackling hard thing and the staying on feet. I understand that. That that makes sense to me. But the the um you know just closing down defend or er, closing down up. Oh my God! Holy shit, Bachman! What a fucking volley that was! Whoa! Holy shit! That was awesome. That was a miracle strike right there. But anyhow, um, fuck, where was I? 
I don't remember anymore. I don't remember what I was talking about. Oh shit. Fuck it. Oh, closing down. Yeah, I don't like how that light leads to cards. That kind of irritates me a little bit. Because like I said, I, I noticed on Galway United, on the Galway United file that like, there's starting to be more and more refs now that, I mean, we're starting to rack up way more cards than we used to. I mean, the referees have changed a little bit and they're now basically not letting us close down players. And I kind of don't like that. Because like I said, I don't know how the hell closing down I mean, you know, like I said, I understand the tackling thing, but I don't understand how in this game telling them to close the distance between you and the opposition player results in getting cards. That is a bit... I don't know. Oof, that was fucking weird, wasn't it? I mean, that, that, that is kind of contradictory to me. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's just... You know, I don't know. Like I said, like I, said I understand... I understand the staying on feet thing that that can make some sense and you know trying to have them tackle a certain way or whatever you know when it's not wise to stay on your feet to just go to ground and take the player out or take the player out take the ball out whatever you know that that's fine I, I get that but just closing down closing the distance like I said I don't know how closing the distance you know is is uh, indicative of getting you know more cards but whatever it is what it is I suppose because now, like I said, I've had to change a lot of the way I play. You know, I'm not able to have that as an option hardly at all anymore. I mean, I took out, like I said, I took the stay on feet out for pretty much all my formations because we were getting cards out the ass. I mean, a ridiculous amount of them all of a sudden. And then, and then we, you know, I had to just continue taking pass all opponents off because it's just, it's still racking up the fouls and racking up the fucking cards. And it's like, you know, I can't. You can't feel the team when half of them are suspended, you know, because they're racking up, you know, three cards and three matches. It's a bit ridiculous, especially in the Champions League, because you, you don't have much for, you know, a, a whole lot, you know, in the Champions League. Like I said, I mean, it, you can't forget very many. I think it is three in the Champions League, and then you're suspended for the next match. And that fucking sucks. Let me tell you. I mean... Especially when like half your team, half your starting eleven is out for a match, it's like fuck. Especially when you get into the knockout rounds, oh, there's nothing more irritating. I had that happen once, and that was when I was like, I can't have this fucking happening again. I mean, we can't, we can't be closing down players, evidently, because you know we gotta change the way our, way we play because we're just racking up too many cards. But anyhow, um, wow, we just cruised to a three 0 lead, three 0 lead, three 0 win. It looks like. I'm sitting here trying to talk about other shit just to get my mind off the tension. But anyhow, we close it out. 3-0. No. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, wow, I did not think we'd get to the fucking final there. Holy shit. That was, um, that's definitely uh, surprising. Considering, you know, look at the fucking... I mean, they had 19 goals in this competition between their starting strikers. And we kept them off. Kept uh, I'm assuming Hunk is who we're going to play. And we kept them off the, um, kept them off the board. Nice. Yeah, see, they have some pretty good players, too. Oops, not them. So he wasn't too bad either, but. All right, then. Um, well, that kind of brightens my fucking day a bit. Right? Anyhow, if you made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye!